Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we have a charging speed test between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Mi 10 Pro comes paired with 50 watt charging capabilities and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The 50 watt charger that you get in the box is actually a 65 watt charger, but it is capped at 50 watts. The phone is capped at 50 watts, so it cannot exceed that at all. So we stuck with 50 watt charging. The S20 Ultra comes with a 25 watt charging block in the box, though it can go up to 45 watt charging if you buy the block separately like I did. It comes paired with a 500 milliamp hour bigger battery than the Xiaomi at 5000 milliamps, which is pretty impressive, though we have slightly slower charging than the Xiaomi does. As you guys can see there, we have a 45 watt cap on this block here, but it really sucks that you have to buy it separately. The iPhone 11 Pro Max comes paired with a subpar 18 watt charging block in the box with a 3969 milliamp hour battery. The charging block is very small compared to the others, but once again, it's capped at 18 watt. At least this year around, iPhone have actually put in an 18 watt block. In previous years, they plugged in a five watt block. Guys, this is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start here at zero minutes, of course, all phones are dead. The iPhone does indeed turn on, so I'm gonna put all the phones on. I did go into settings of each and every individual device, and I turned down the brightness, I put on automatic brightness, I also put on airplane mode on all devices, and do not disturb. I've taken off all other things that could suck up juice, and I do go ahead and turn off the displays as per your guys' request in my previous video. We have a time interval on the left-hand side, and the percentages above the battery at the top of the phone and below their respective branding indicates how much percent they are running at based on the interval you see on the left. After 50 minutes, 46% on the Xiaomi. So almost 50% on the Xiaomi after 50 minutes, 20 minutes, 58% on the Xiaomi, 46% on the S20 Ultra and 32% on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I must say, I'm actually pretty impressed with the iPhone, 32%. It does have a small battery, but the charging block is pretty subpar. 70% on the Xiaomi after 25 minutes. That's really impressive. 56% on the S20 Ultra. It does have a bigger battery though. So I did expect that and a lower wattage block. The iPhone is sitting at 48% after the 30 minute marks, almost 50%, pretty much what iPhone claims to be correct. 50 percent after 30 minutes the xiaomi is not 80 percent and the samsung 67 percent after the next interval that we're going to hit at is 40 minutes so getting that 40 minute mark 93 percent on the xiaomi mi 10 pro almost there 84 percent on the s20 ultra pretty close closing the gap between the xiaomi and the s20 61 percent on the 11 pro max now we're going to shoot over to that 50 minute mark but before we hit it the xiaomi actually knocks off at 100 percent after 47 minutes that is five minutes quicker than my previous test but i did have the screen on there so that could have been the case so just 47 minutes and 31.3 degrees Celsius. That's how hot the battery was on the Xiaomi. The other phones are sitting at 94% on the Samsung and 71% on the iPhone respectively. The iPhone is catching up and the, the Samsung is almost there. I'm really impressed with it. If we can do it under an hour, I will be really impressed with it. But we hit that hour mark and it is still not there yet. 98% on the S20 Ultra, 78% on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. iPhone 11 Pro Max has a thousand milliamps smaller battery and it is 20% behind. After a one hour and one minute, the Samsung hit that 100% charge rate with just 28.3 degrees Celsius in battery temperature putting it lower than the Xiaomi when it comes to battery temperature, but it is 14 minutes slower in charging time, though it does have a 500 milliamp hour bigger battery than the Xiaomi, and it really sucks that the Samsung doesn't come paired with its wonderful 45 watt charging the block. Considering its ridiculous price range, pretty much double the price of the Mi 10 Pro sitting beside it, which got a faster charge and not much of a smaller battery, though it is smaller nonetheless. The iPhone is at 90% after that hour and 20 minute mark. Gonna hit an hour and 30 minutes, 93%, I cannot believe that it is sitting at 93% after an hour and 30 minutes. It has gone ridiculously slow. Remember, it did 50% in just 30 minutes. We're gonna speed up this test here just to get to the end of the iPhone to hit that 100% mark because I don't wanna sit here all day. Like I said, guys, 30 minutes for 50%, but an hour and a half for the other 50%. That is ridiculous. 98% on the two hour mark, that hour and a half extra, and it's still not hitting that 100%. But after two hours and two minutes, really slow, 100%, iPhone needs to change what is happening this year around with the iPhone 12 coming out at the end of the year. Hopefully this does get improved. At least we have wireless charging, but once again, that's also slow. It has the lowest degree Celsius here at 20 degrees. So I am quite impressed with that on the iPhone's front when it comes to how hot it gets. So in third place, we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max with two hours and two minutes. It, I would say it's disappointing 
thing, but this is iPhone. We kind of know what we're getting ourselves into when we buy it with slow charging. Second place, S20 Ultra. I must say I'm pretty impressed with it. I would have preferred it under the arm mark, but an hour and one minute is still great with that 45 watt charging. You're looking at closer to two hours if you're stuck with the 25 watt block. First place, of course, the King Mi 10 Pro. 47 minutes, ridiculously fast, 50 watt charging. Still not quite as fast as the Realme X2 Pros. 50 watt charging in under 30 minutes. If they were all 4,500 milliamp hour batteries, of course, the Xiaomi would be no different because it has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. The Samsung would get six minutes quicker, putting it at 55 minutes. And the iPhone, of course, it has a smaller battery than 4,500. So it would add 60 minutes to the total time, bringing it to two hours and 18 minutes. And until next time, guys, this is Technic.